Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, as we continue and complete the series that I had started with the uh, Windows Security app uh, for both Windows 11 and Windows 10, we continue with Windows 10 and we are going to look at in the security app at the app and browser control. So app and browser control. First of all, the first option is reputation-based protection. This has to do with the type of, first of all, the websites you visit, what you might be downloading from a website, whatever is going to happen on any website. So first of all, there's a check apps and files. So this is the smart screen. It will actually check out everything you download. This is what actually tells you what files that might be potentially a problem. So if you have some files that um, you don't recognize, it might warn you that it is, is something that doesn't know what it is. It could be malicious. It doesn't mean it is, but if it's not on a specific list, it might warn you. It will also warn you of known threats. There's a smart screen for Microsoft Edge, which of course goes with the browser. Same type of protection, but in the browser itself, where it will check for any malicious downloads. Potentially unwanted app blocking. So anything that might be a risk will automatically be blocked and blocked from downloading also, which means if you click, it's going to tell you, well, you know, I'm not downloading this. It's probably dangerous or it could be dangerous. You'll have to go through certain hoops to actually get it to download if it's a potentially okay file. I have several of those that I download their updates from time to time that, you know, they pop up, they're blocked because they just don't know what it is. I know what it is and I know it's safe, but, you know, sometimes it gets in the way. So uh, I don't recommend kind of turning it off. I recommend dealing with it is better. So, you know, going through the screen. There are options I'm going to say where you can tell the the uh, smart screen, you know, it's okay, you can download this, I give permission, and so on. Um, I'd rather that people deal with that than have download of whatever that might be dangerous. And then there's a smart screen for the Microsoft Store apps, where it's going to check the content of store apps. And um, I've never seen that in action doing anything uh, blocking, but it uh, is there too add to the security, uh, possibly, of your computer. So all of that happens in um, in there. Then you have isolated browsing, and this has to do with something called the Microsoft Defender Application Guard. This is where everything that you do is actually checked and sandboxed in the hope that it's actually going to protect you from any type of malware. Then you have exploit protection, and the exploit protection is built there to simply um, make sure that you know you are protected against any types of attacks. And if you go to exploit protection settings, uh, you'll see that anything that has to do with different types of direct or indirect calls of integrity, anything that has to do with um, running in a memory space only, not going outside of the boundaries. Once again, kind of a sandbox style thing. Um, forced reloca re relocation of images not compiled uh, by a dynamic base. So these are all certain types of protection that go within the boundaries of what's happening within your computer. So everything that is checked here is to make sure that Whatever you do, whatever you download in the system settings and also in the program settings, anything that is going to work here needs to be checked against specific exploit protection settings to make sure that you stay safe within your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching my videos.